Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well, Zenzo with Tazawa Tanks. And this is kind of like part two to a recent video, part one and a half, part two, um, where I asked uh, some of you to give me, um, or you know, provide some questions and I answer them in kind of a Q&A video. So I'm gonna follow up on a couple more questions, go into one in, in a little bit more in-depth um, format, I guess. And because I don't wanna just be talking in front of the camera the whole video and you don't wanna watch that, we're gonna grab the camera and I'm gonna walk around the room and kind of give you a, a uh, kind of a mini tour or an update on the tanks and it will make sense here in a minute. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna address the, um, the uh, question or the comment or the topic about instant cycling. Now, when I made that other video, I talked about instant cycling and how you can set up an aquarium and put fish in it right away, essentially having an instant cycle. And a lot of you, or a few of you, um, had trouble with my terminology, which I totally understand. And it's not so much that the tank itself is cycled. So it takes time for the beneficial bacteria in the aquarium to replicate and kind of live in a substrate and in plants and on rocks and wood and in this, in, you know, on the sides of the glass or acrylic, all that kind of stuff. Really, it's the filter that was instant cycled or already cycled. So you take a filter that's already cycled, you put it in a brand new aquarium and then you can instantly add fish, meaning that the filtration, that's gonna break down the ammonia and then also break down nitrite, has beneficial bacteria, that's gonna do all that work for you and you can have fish in there right away. But the tank itself is technically not cycled, it, you're putting a cycled filter or filter media in the tank. So anyway, just wanna clear that up. Uh, moving on, um, I, like I said, I'm gonna grab the camera, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna do a tour. I'm gonna end up having to do some water changes, which you'll see why, because some of these tanks aren't looking so great, which is a topic about this fish room, which was also kind of like, you know, how do you juggle with your busy schedule and still take care of your fish room? Well, you're gonna see how well I take care of my fish room. Now you might be wondering, if you're gonna do some water changes, if you're working in a fish room, why in the heck are you wearing a white t-shirt and khaki colored pants, that doesn't make sense, right? Well, you're probably thinking, okay, here we go, Zenzo's wearing a white t-shirt, probably another Into the AM t-shirt sponsored video. Actually, it's not. This is an Into the AM all day pant uh, integration. So um, Into the AM is a sponsor of this video, so thank you to Into the AM. They actually sent me these all day pants. I love them, they're super comfortable. I could go, I could talk for like five minutes about these pants, but I'm not gonna do that stretchy, breathable, lightweight, dress them up, dress them down. Love these pants. Um, they fit amazing, just like their t-shirts fit. Uh, if you are going to shop, you can use my link down below, which will give you 10% off uh, store-wide. And also, if you happen to click on a link before or by April 15th, they're having a site-wide sale that will allow you to get up to 70% off of certain graphic tees or a lot of their graphic tees like this amazing shirt. So anyway, check out Into the AM in the link down below. Thank you for being one of my longtime and favorite sponsors of this channel. All right, I've got the camera. We're gonna kind of walk around and I'm gonna walk and talk, which is better than just uh, talking. So um, here, the 125 gallon Tanganyikan tank, not a lot to update here, it's doing great. A uh, little bit of algae, we got some plants propagating and moving around, so that's good. Love this tank. Gold Ocelotus, these fish are a pain in the butt because they're so aggressive, they're aggressive with each other, and uh, yeah, I just don't know what I'm gonna do long term, but they're just kind of living here for now. Uh, down here we got a bunch of peacock fry, a bunch of Alanacara. So uh, I talked in a recent-ish video about why I'm growing African cichlids. And uh, so these are still, you know, juvenile at this point. We still have probably another three or four months of growth before they're ready to go in this tank and kind of be the next generation of African cichlids as we've got some senior citizens in here and, uh, you know, they've been passing on. You can see some aren't doing so great. And uh, so that's kind of what's going on there. Down below, brackish tank, still empty, no fish yet. Uh, these two goldfish got too comfortable eating fish food. They stopped doing duckweed duty for me when I put them upstairs in a, in a couple of aquariums. So uh, I'm kind of fasting them for a while. Maybe I'll make them super hungry and I'll try it again. But uh, 
couple goldfish. We got my amazing solo size. I love these fish. So personable and uh, just lots of fun. Over here, we've got the Malawi uh, cichlid Zimbuna, larger Zimbuna. Um, I kind of talked about getting rid of these fish and doing something different, and then I kind of had a change of heart. So for now, they're fine. Uh, these five stars, at some point, I'm going to rehome them, but they're just kind of like legacy fish. This tank is empty. Probably going to put a bunch of shrimp in there at some point. Got the African mud skippers. Now keep in mind, I didn't prep any of these tanks for this video. So this is kind of like, we're going to get into a topic here about, about uh, this fish room and how I take care of it and some of the problems I'm having. So um, as you can see, like the water change is pretty recent. The water's clear. Got the, the easy flow on there, making a nice current. But uh, there's like sand on the glass and all that kind of stuff. You're just kind of getting the behind the scenes. Uh, this tank, jungle mess, just some cardinal tetras. Got the white cloud mountain minnows in this tank. Still kind of messy. Um, I'm loving this tank. This is the uh, 60 breeder. Love this uh, kind of the jungle look that's happening. So just kind of encouraging this jungle, jungleness. Uh, still loving my 40 breeder brackish tank. Still love my green sup green spotted puffer. Amazing fish. Still have the top hat blenny hanging out right there in that uh, empty barnacle shell. Right back there in the back. Uh, this tank over here, these guppies, this is a mess of a tank. So we'll talk about some of these messy tanks in a minute. Indian mud skippers. This tank, there's uh, not a whole lot going on in there. Um, more African cichlids growing out. Kind of the same thing. We'll uh, let some grow out and then we'll pick some of the best ones. Got the brackish molly tank over here. We have the blue topaz and this tank is a mess. I haven't filmed in this room in quite a while. This is my office upstairs. And in here I have a couple of aquariums. And uh, now I do spend more time around these aquariums because I am up here in my office. This is my 40 gallon shrimp tank. I actually had a little bit of crypt melt and some plant issues here, which I'm gonna talk about here shortly. And then I have just kind of this tank down here. I did have that other tank, I gave it away. And we've got uh, just some guppies and some duckweed. So I did put the goldfish in this tank, which was full of duckweed, which still has some duckweed. I actually shop vacked it out today. And then that tank over there full of duckweed and they didn't do much of anything. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm in here a lot working from my desk here and um, Basically, I just want to make sure that I can go downstairs and uh, Enjoy the downstairs office. Here's the YouTube plaque. Thank you to all of my subscribers um, So in this tank, this is the 40 gallon the 40 breeder or 40 gallon tank And you can see that a bunch of the, the plants I had in here. They kind of died off and melted off what happened is I was out of town on business for five days and it got really warm in here. I didn't have my blinds all the way shut and I didn't have these curtains shut. And I feel like it got too warm and I got a bunch of crypt melt. The same thing happened to me last summer when I was in Paris for a week or like eight or nine days or whatever. It got really warm in this room and I had the same thing happen. So from now on, when I'm gone, I know it's gonna be warm. I'm gonna close the drapes. These are blackout drapes. That way I won't have as much heat in here and I'll just make sure that I leave the door open so it, there's some ventilation. So anyway, this is the office and uh, kind of where I spend a lot of time and I wanna spend more time downstairs so that I can enjoy those tanks as well. I wanna kind of go into, into a deeper dive when it, come, when it comes to this fish room and uh, kind of how I'm feeling about it. So to be honest, um, it's, it's easy and it's not easy. And, and if you're gonna have a fish room, like you just have to really think about, do you want to have a room dedicated to aquariums? So right there, you might say, yes, absolutely, sign me up. Do you want to have to take care of it and make it look good with clean water parameters and healthy fish? and no algae and all that kind of stuff in perpetuity. 
that's kind of a head scratcher, right? Do you want to do all that for a long time? It might be great for a couple years, but if you're going to do it year after year after year, you really have to be dedicated to wanting a fish room. Now, there are days when I'm like, ah, like it's just so much work. I just came home from a four day work trip. I'm home for three or four days. I got to fly out again. Do I want to like just, you know, do all this work when I'm not really enjoying the fish room? And it's really hard, especially for me having a channel and it's based on this fish room and all that kind of stuff. Um, but there are days when I just want to like say forget it, have my friends come over, have whatever you want in here fish wise. I'm going to sell it all, give it away and break it all down. And then there are days I come down here and I'm like, man, I love this room. It's a perfect 78 degrees. It's peaceful. I can just be alone down here, hang out with my fish, all that kind of stuff. So I've done a couple of things. One, I have adjusted all of my lights in here. So all the lights in this fish room are on a, uh, they're plugged into Wi-Fi timers, CASA timers. And there's an app on my phone that allows me to control the light cycle. I've talked about this before, but I can go into the app and I can turn on and off all my lights and program them. So what I did is I changed the schedule to where the lights come on earlier in the day. Originally they were coming on like at 1.30, 2 in the afternoon, and then they would stay on till like eight o'clock at night or something like that. And I moved them back to come on earlier in the day, like at 11 and turn off earlier so that I can be down here more during the work day. I work from home when I'm not on the road. I have an extra laptop here. I've got a monitor. I have the setup, I have the flexibility. So that's something that I'm gonna try to commit to do. It may not happen every day, but if I can spend an extra two or three or four hours a week down here during the work week, then I feel like I'm gonna spend more time with my fish, I'll enjoy it more, and I'll probably do a better job of keeping them clean and taking care of the fish tanks, which you saw, the algae and all that kind of stuff, it's not great. Um, doing water changes more often, taking care of the algae, cleaning the glass, all that kind of stuff, so that when I see them, I'm not thinking like, ah, like that tank, I'm just gonna take it down, it's not doing anything for me. I wanna think like, oh, that's a great tank, I love it, I'm going to keep it going. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, uh, you know, I like to be very honest and transparent when it comes to me talking about my fish hobby and what I do. And I don't want to portray myself as being like, oh yeah, this place is amazing and it's great all the time. Like, no, like there are times I'm like, ah, this room kind of sucks, right? So uh, just being honest with you guys. So uh, anyway, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate all of your feedback. I love reading the comments, even if I don't respond to them. Even if I don't hit a thumbs up or a heart button on them, I still read them all, each and every one. No matter how long it takes me, I might not get it to the first day. It might take me a week or two, but I read them and I love them, so thank you. Don't forget, into the AM, check out these cool, ugh, stretchy pants. You ever seen Nacho Libre? I love that movie, Nacho Libre. You know, Jack Black's character, Nacho Libre, talks about stretchy pants, so that's how I feel about these pants. So check out Into the AM in the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out this other video, and catch you on the next one.